I just want us to remember who he was, all the good times we had with him. He was really creative and he just always loved to make people smile. He was really outgoing. Hundreds of friends of Jacob Rogers carried candles to River Bluff Park in Ashland City. They walked because they say he loved to walk. Now, though, his footsteps are forever silent. The senior at Cheatham County Central High School killed himself Wednesday. He was the loving child. He, he really was. The 18-year-old was openly gay. Friends say bullies at school targeted him. It was so bad he had stopped going to school altogether. They would just bully him for no apparent reason and just... Anything he would say or do, there'd always be a snide comment from people. Now Roger's friends are demanding an end to bullying. His friend Joni started this petition. Bullying is something that really hurts people. You may think that what you're saying is just words, but it's never just words. Friends say Rogers reported the bullying to school officials numerous times to no avail. We're still in the, in the grieving process, still trying to understand what exactly has happened. Uh, and what and why it happened. Cheatham County's director of schools knew of one report of bullying. He told me the principal warned the alleged bullies. Days later, the principal says Rogers told her things were better. Dr. Tim Webb told me he will investigate allegations that school officials ignored other reports of bullying. We don't want any child to feel like that they're alienated or isolated to the point that they lose all hope. Unfortunately, that's too late to save Rogers, but his loved ones hope just maybe his death will shine a light on bullying that may save another young person. They knew who he was, and now we'll never forget him. Baby armadillos, when they're born, their, their shells are soft, and they, they get hard as they mature. Jake didn't have time to get a hard shell about him. In Cheatham County, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2.